Hello designers and illustrators. Are you ready to learn how to sketch a logo the analog way? Yeah. Great, here's what you can expect from this video. We're gonna look around online for some reference material to get inspired. We'll then create some thumbnail sketches to explore some visual concepts. From there, we'll choose the best concept. And lastly, we'll revise our sketch until it's ready to be digitally rendered. All of this done without a drawing tablet. Okay, let's hop to it. Hey Tinker. Yes, Michael, how can I be of service? I need a fictitious business name for a project I can practice on. Coming right at ya. Thank you. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be completing a sketch for our brand new client, Chatterstorm. Chatterstorm is a speed dating social application targeting singles from 18 to 35 years old. Their slogan is to help people find true love at lightning speed. Aww. Okay, first thing we'll do is find some reference material we can use for inspiration. From my computer, I'll create a project folder. Within that folder, I'll create another folder called Inspiration. This is where all of my reference material goes. Then I'll search for graphics, images, and existing logos. There are countless websites to find this stuff. Pinterest, Dribbble, Google Images, Behance. After I'm satisfied with my search, I personally like to print my reference images out and keep them near me as I begin the next step of sketching thumbnails. Here you can pull out a sheet of paper or a sketchbook. I like to use this 7x10 sketchbook. It's small and portable enough to go with me anywhere. and It's the perfect size for thumbnails. I often start out by writing the name of the company. I'll count the number of letters. I'll write some keywords that pertain to the mission. Words that help to guide the concept then literally just start sketching. Creating thumbnails is like starting a conversation with yourself on a sheet of paper. Your hand and your eye coordinate on the page to test out ideas. Sometimes you're drawing on purpose, actively fleshing out ideas from your brain to the pencil. As you do so, you'll discover other ideas by accident. When the ideas come, play around with them, even if you think they're bad ones. You may have to go through a hundred bad ideas before a good one jumps out at you. You can also try to think like your client's audience. Repeat the name of the company in your head as you draw to be sure that you're staying true to the assignment. Think of how you can visually communicate to people that your client's product or service provides the answers that they've been looking for or solves their biggest problems. Okay, so this is the concept I've chosen. This will look great as a small icon on a mobile device. It really captures the essence of the company name and purpose. Now we're going to begin revising the concept. We wanna increase the scale of the brand mark and get super focused on the details of the design. I like to use a printer scanner to scale up my thumbnail images so that it fits within a letter sized sheet of paper. If you don't have a printer scanner, you can redraw this by hand. The important thing is to be able to work on the design at a good size. So we're going to revise this now using a tool that every designer or illustrator should have, a light pad. I got this on Amazon for like 25 bucks. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna pick one of these up for yourself. Another trick you could do is use a window in the daytime to trace your design. But in the end, if you're doing a lot of revising, a light pad will be a good friend to have nearby. Okay, let's put a clean sheet of paper on our scaled up thumbnail. Put some painter's tape on all four corners to hold it down and turn the light on. Now I'll put some guidelines on here with blue pencil, measuring everything to be sure I have perfect right angles. I also used a stencil to get some good curves and a ruler for straight lines. And just like that, we have a revised sketch. If this artwork was more intricate, I might decide to grab another clean sheet of paper and further revise it. And that is how I sketch a logo by hand. To wrap up this video, I will scan this into the computer, open it up in Adobe Illustrator, and digitally render it. My friends, I hope that you found this video to be useful. The goal of this channel is to help you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. If you wanna join the tribe, please click subscribe. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button. And remember, in your professional and personal life, to question everything and stop at nothing. We'll see you in the next video.